Okay, we've got a new video. Here we go. How does a boy go from being a student who was scared of public? Okay, so I think the music might be a bit loud. Speaking, becoming one of the most hated and powerful political figures in the world. Kim Jong Un, aka the supreme leader of North Korea, is the perfect example of what it means to be manipulated this is cool. and controlled from birth. But there's more to Kim Jong Un than meets the eye. Alongside the purge of family members, the constant subjugation. Yeah, the effects. Ah, uh, okay. So straight away, I feel maybe we either adjust the voiceover volume a bit higher and the music volume a bit lower, just so we can hear the voiceover. I think the music might be overpowering the the voiceover. People and the numerous assassination attempts on his life. There's also a frightened man desperate for help. But to truly understand the complex life of Kim Jong Un, we must travel back to the 1980s, where the story begins with a mystery: his birth. Okay. <laughs> cool. A mysterious childhood. While North Korean authorities insist Kim Jong Un was born on January mm -hmm. 8, 1982, a symbolic year marking the 70th birthday of his grandfather Kim Il Sung, and 40 years after the birth of his father Kim Jong Il, South Korean intelligence mm. poses a different theory. They believe he was born a year later, and so even before he could speak his first words, he <laughs> found himself a yeah, nice. symbolic manipulation. Mm. Drafted into the long-running theater of North Korean politics, born mm -hmm. to Ko Young Hui and Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un was the middle child in a family deeply entwined with North Korea's ruling elite. He had an older brother, Kim Jong Chul, and a younger sister, Kim Yo Jong. His grandfather, Kim Il Sung, was the founder of North Korea, making Kim Jong Un mm -hmm. the first leader of the country to have been born as a North Korean citizen. A stark contrast to his father and grandfather who were born in the Soviet Union and during the Japanese colonial period. While the people of North Korea struggled with poverty, the Kim family led mm, a different life. That's cool, man. <laughs> that Kim Jong-un, along with mm -hmm. his siblings, spent several years in Switzerland, first attending the International School of Korea was, under the pseudonym. I almost feel my voiceover needs to be a bit louder, huh? Or I have to get a new voiceover. <laughs> the video is too good for my voiceover, maybe. But... Maybe we'll just try and raise the volume up a bit higher for the voiceover. So maybe it will sound a bit more better. I don't know. We'll see. But good. Good so far, so good. I think the, there may be like a few small things, but I could. Kim was described as a shy but decent student. Mm. He was frequently shadowed by an older student, likely his bodyguard, as he navigated the hallways of a school so different from any institution in his homeland. Later, his educational mm -hmm. journey took him to the Lieberfeld Steinholzli State School of Konitz, near Bern. Under the name Pak Un or Un Pak, he attended regular classes after a brief stint in a special class for foreign language children. Joao Makailo, a Portuguese immigrant who attended the same school, remembers Kim Jong Un as a quiet boy with a pudding bowl haircut and a very pronounced double chin. He went by the name <laughs> his Damn, that's ugly. Jordan was far from ordinary. Under the mentorship of North Korea's ambassador to Switzerland, it'd be good to have him with a double chin. I don't know, is there? Is there? Cole mm -hmm. lived an incognito lifestyle as a would-be supreme leader, masked as the son of a fairly normal embassy employee. And although he was a well-trained, integrated student, his academics reportedly suffered. Yeah, voice over lava. Shadowed by the heavy sure. of destiny that he wore for yeah, yeah, yeah. despite his shy nature. Kim Jong-un couldn't entirely keep his background mm. secret. Joao Miguel also... Re 